Okay, let's walk through what the peak function is and how does it work. So the peak function is added so you can see a live preview of your lights. So you can see here, we'll just go in and select anything. We'll select some Easter colors and you can see that it shows those exact colors in a preview on there. So let's, let's do the firmware update so that we can actually use this. Um, the best way to do this is to go to the top drop down on the left hit settings at the bottom there, second from the bottom, then click on the update cloud controller firmware, and then hit start firmware update. This will download the firmware to the device, and then it'll ask you to connect to the controller's Wi-Fi, and then once you're done that, hit continue. So you actually have to open up your Wi-Fi settings on your device. So swipe down, hold on your Wi-Fi, Bring up your Wi-Fi networks, wait till you see that show home network pop up, click on it, and just wait a minute or two just to make sure that it connects. Once the check mark is there and nothing else says anything, you can just tap anywhere on the screen to back out and then hit continue. Now it'll update the firmware. It only takes a few minutes. Um, the status bar doesn't really start showing anything until the end, but you'll see here shortly. Oh, there's a status. Now it'll tell you to switch back to your home network. So you're going to do the same thing in reverse. You're going to swipe down and click on, hold down on your Wi-Fi button, tap on your Wi-Fi networks, and look for your home network. Now I have poor Wi-Fi where I'm at right now. So I actually have to go into the Wi-Fi settings and let it search again because the iPhone just isn't picking it up. So then when I did that, okay, there, now it's actually showing. So I'll click on it. It looks like it's connected back out again, go back into the app. Now this part's important. Just sit and wait. It looks like it's froze, but it's just checking to make sure the update's done and updating the information into the database. So there, now it's popped up, it says the update's complete and you can hit done. So just click the done button. Now it'll say you don't have connection to your lights, but that's just because it was redone. So just hit retry, it'll pop up. Now you'll want to wait a few minutes before playing around with the peak function too much because it's still trying to connect to the servers and do all that stuff. I just kind of dive right in here and start playing with it. And you'll see that it kind of starts glitching a little bit. That keep in mind that I have poor Wi-Fi where I am. So that's the main reason, but I just wanted to show here how you can you know, go through some of the presets and it'll give you just a live feed of exactly what your lights are doing. And this will work from anywhere. You don't have to be at home. You can be, you know, across in another country and you just want to see what your lights are doing or you want to pick an effect for a holiday and you're not around. You can click these, um, click the peak preview and you'll get a live feed of exactly what your lights are doing. See, I, I got an error to connect on the controller. It's just because I'm playing around with it too quick after the update and it's still running all its tests and doing stuff. So it'll eventually start working. If it freezes, just hit the peak button to close it and then open it back up again. And it'll, it'll reconnect to the server and it'll usually work. So there. So it'll, it'll work fine now after this. It just needed a minute to... Um, get connected but yeah this is this is what it is it gives you just a live feed and this way you can play around with different presets you can build presets you don't need to go stand outside and watch and see what your lights are doing all the time you just can sit on your couch or sit at work and make new presets and save them it's kind of a really neat function and this is the first time that I've actually created a firmware update for the controller so this is a little bit of a test too just to see that this works and can be successful and then that way creating new features for the app down the road everyone's going to be familiar with this firm up, firmware update procedure and it should be easy peasy going forward thanks a lot